Section 1.7 for Geometry, Perimeter, Circumference, and Area. Now that we've talked about plane figures, we're going to talk about certain measurements we can determine for plane figures. The first measurement is perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. So if I had my figure and I were to lay a string along each side, and if I were then to take the string, lay it flat, and measure it, that length would be its perimeter. So if all of these sides were 3, then my perimeter is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 would be 12. Circumference is the distance around a circle. So just like with the quadrilateral I showed you above, if I had a circle, and again I laid a string around it, then laid out that string and measured it, that would be my circumference. And lastly, area. Area is the amount of surface covered by a figure. So the area would be the surface of the quadrilateral or the surface of the circle. It's important to note that perimeter and circumference are linear measures, meaning they're in one dimension and have units such as inches, feet, or meters. Area, however, is a two-dimensional measure and has units such as inches squared, feet squared, and meters squared. So when I have a square, and I want to find its perimeter, I want to know how many little inches fit on each side. So if I find 4, 4, 4, and 4, my perimeter is 16 inches squared. But if I want the area, I want, I want to know how many little 1 inch by 1 inch boxes fit in the surface. And what I would then notice is I can have four boxes in each row, and I have four rows. So my area is four rows of four boxes, which in this case, oh, perimeter, I'm sorry, is a unit, it's just inches. For area, in this case, is 16 inches squared. So let's give another quick example with a slightly different measurements. Let's say I used a rectangle that was one, two, three units high. One, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So five units across. Then my perimeter, I get five inches along the bottom, three on the side, five inches on the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 3 inches down the side. My perimeter is 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5, 16 inches. My area, okay, so I get a row of 5 boxes. They're all 1 inch by 1 inch. And I get 3 rows of that. So I have 5 boxes in a row, and I have 3 rows, meaning I have 3 times 5 boxes, 15 inches squared. Okay, this brings us to some formal equations. We're going to talk about the equations for perimeter and area in four special shapes, our square, our rectangle, our triangle, and our circle. So in all of these, you want to let P be perimeter, and A represents area perimeter or circumference if it's the circle.